Hey guys, it's me, Magic the Joker from Kingdom 1628, and I am here with a new video for you guys. Um, this is going to be the road to recovery for free-to-play players. I just want to go ahead and say that everybody out here has made quite a few fuck-ups in this game. I have made fuck-ups, and I optimized the shit out of it because I am obsessed with optimization. So if I've fucked up, I know you guys have at least fucked up once. These are going to be seven... Um, seven points with uh you know various remedies for these fuck ups you know that i'll try to help you guys out with i'm probably gonna end up splitting this video in two parts just in case it's too long so let's jump right in it uh, i think the first point is a very common one um so number one i splurge gems outside of more than gems okay i'm guilty of this shit y'all know it your last video i talked about it i spent 45 spins up on the YSG wheel. 45. You know, believe it or not, that's a little more than a free-to-play player should ever fucking use on a wheel event. Okay? So what did I do to make up my gems after I shit the bed? Okay? I chained Barbarians. Okay? Even if you don't chain the Barbarians, just make sure you're using everything on Barbarians. Forts are not an option when you splurge your gems out outside of uh, more than when you splurge your gems outside of more than gems okay um also you know barb forts just came up for farewell winter so even though i'm building up my gem supply i'm gonna do those forts believe me so if there's an event you know don't let that cloud your judgment do your event before you stop doing forts i just don't mean i, I mean don't do forts liberally okay so for a more than gems event you need at least fourteen thousand gems to dump 7,000 in each day so you can get some golden heads from each, okay? That's all you really need. I mean, 25,000 each day is great, but if it's not a possibility, it's not a possibility. Don't break your back going for more than 14,000. Of course, if you've got the time, if you're in quarantine and you're like, I have nothing to do but to do these, these barbarian chainings, then by all means, do it. I'm just telling you, 14,000 is bare bones. You're probably not going to find yourself getting from a zero mark past 14,000 in like uh, less than a month unless you know you're, you're getting your lost kingdom or, or you're getting multiple uh, shrines and altars and, and a bunch of different rewards you usually can't do it on your own is what I'm trying to say so number two I destroyed a legendary or three okay this is probably the most common fuck up ever I never did this because I watched a ton of videos before I even started playing just to make sure I didn't fuck up anything in the very beginning because then I would have cried, okay? But most people have fucked up Julius Caesar. I think that is like easily the most common fuck up that I've seen out of people. This bad boy is going to be like level 40, like 1, 3, 2, 5, like some random shit like that. They're dumping universals, okay? So let me set the record straight. Save your goddamn universals for Richard or YSG is a free-to-play guide. So Richard or YSG are your two options. You know, just make sure. <laughs> but if you fuck up JC, doesn't matter. You fuck up uh, Freddy over here, doesn't matter. So consider which legendary you have fucked up, okay? You know, you, if you're out here fucking up Charles Martel, if you're out here fucking up uh, Tao Tao, you're out here fucking up El Cid, maybe there's an issue, okay? These are some good ass legendaries maybe there's an issue maybe you should look at a restart generally i'd say if you're above five million power you shouldn't look at a restart so i i mean understand what legendaries you fucked up and what that means to your account i'd say el cid and charles martel are really important to not fuck up uh cow cow is i mean it's important to have five as his first skill but you know if you've leveled them up you've leveled them up i'm gonna wait till five in his first skill i'm gonna get into five one 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 and then I use him as a peacekeeper, okay? That's probably fine. If you fuck him up, uh, kind of rough. Just make sure you don't fuck up Martel, realistically. So maybe you restart if you're under like five mil power and you fucked up your legendaries and you know you're completely free to play and you know you're not in the top alliance. Eh, maybe you can you can squeak out a restart. Probably don't need to, okay? Most of all is ignore the sunk cost fallacy. Just because you've invested in these commanders does not mean you should keep investing, okay? When your Julius Caesar is completely face-fucked, okay? He's level 40-something. 
you you have him at like one two three four you know some weird ass skill level like that stop leveling him up okay stop putting stars in him he's not gonna get better number one is julius caesar so he's not gonna get better omega lol right number two you've already fucked him up okay you're not putting even if you were to put le universals into this saving every single universal and spinning the YSG wheel 45 times as a free to play player i've gotten you know I, maybe you could have gotten 50 more legendary heads if you've been doing it better than me maybe 50 i'd say if you did it perfectly i got him to 5512 okay with julius caesar <laughs> You will not expertise him. And even if you end up doing it, even if you end up doing it, it's fucking Julius Caesar. Okay? So ignore your sunk cost fallacy. If you fucked up a legendary, just accept that you fucked it up and move on. You're a free-to-play player. You cannot remedy it with money because you're not spending money. Number three, my commanders are low level. I put XP into the wrong place. Okay? If you're guilty of this, I was guilty of this at one point. Okay? I put... A ton of XP into Marswoman. Okay, I didn't bring her up to level 47. I did Guardians, and you know she slowly came up because I used her Peacekeeper traits to to bring up the XP on my other commanders. So I didn't fuck her up this hard, but I did fuck her up. You know, she was like uh, maybe like three stars, like level 20 something, and I was putting tomes into her because I was a fucking drooling retard. Okay, don't be like me. Don't do that fucking Marswoman. Okay. But, you know, people put XP in the weirdest of places because they just don't know what the fuck's going on when they first start playing the game. Okay, so if your commanders are at low level, you have no fucking tomes, you put your XP in the wrong place, do your guardians. So, there's there's going to be little altars. Okay, mine, my, my alliance has already done the altar for the day. But you're going to have shrines, altars, uh, lost temple, you know, there's plenty of places where there's going to be guardians and they give xp and they don't cost ap so your alliance is going to have generally two times because they spawn twice a day and you're going to have two separate times to do the guardians so take your all your marches put a peacekeeper on the front of all the marches put commanders you want to level and even commanders you don't want to level as secondaries and just make sure you you know you, you put as much uh xp in everybody as you can you know you want to have a star bottleneck purple star bottleneck is where you want to be you want to be like oh my god i can't i can't put enough stars into everybody because i have too much experience my tomes are just stacking up that's the problem you want to have so do your guardians if you're really really behind don't just do your alliance's guardians okay everybody's guardians you know you know you have you have some front family alliances or maybe you have uh some people you're just cool with be like hey man do you mind if I do Guardians with you guys when you guys do Guardians? Just ask them. The worst they can say is no. Okay? So, do Guardians with your homies twice a day. Do all the Guardians you possibly can. And you will catch up in levels easily. Do your fucking Guardians. Do both spawns. You're good to go. Easy remedy. Alright guys, it was getting a little lengthy, so that's going to be the end for part one. Uh, this is Magic the Joker. Tips four through seven are going to come in a couple days. I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you guys later.